Hi guys, I'm Phil Town from Rule One Investing, and today I'm gonna to tell you how to invest during this all-time high stock market. Hey there, before we dive into today's video, I wanted to take just a moment to remind you that as a big thank you for hitting 300,000 subscribers on my channel recently, I'm hosting a huge giveaway and it's happening right now. To find out how you could win up to a $500 gift card and other great prizes, click the link in the description of this video to enter my 300,000 YouTube subscriber giveaway. All who enter also get to join me for a live Q&A later this month. Giveaway ends on 17 February. So enter today, you guys. Now, back to the video. Well, as you know, if you're paying any attention to the stock market, it just keeps hitting new record highs week after week. It has literally never been higher than it is now. If you're not already invested in the market, this is probably not the best time to jump in. Companies are selling at some of the most expensive prices ever paid for companies ever right now. For example, for, geez, the last 50 or 60 years, the relationship between the sales of the United States, which is called GDP or gross domestic product, and the stock market has been that the market is fully priced when the value of the market and the GDP are about the same number. So if GDP is 20 trillion and the value of the market's 20 trillion, that's a fully priced stock market. For all through the 70s and early 80s when the market was on sale, it was at like 50% of GDP. Okay, right now, it's at 173% of GDP. It is nearly double what it should be in a fully priced market. Whew, really expensive. Not only that, but the P.E. ratio, which means the price relative to the actual earnings of these companies, is an average oh, over the last 140 years of about 15 times earnings. So if a company has $100 of earnings, you know, people would be paying like $1,500 for that company per share or whatever, right, for the, for the company. So 15 times, is that right? Yeah, 1,500, not so great at math. Anyway, 1,500 bucks for a hundred dollars of earnings, that's typical. Today, they're paying $2,500 for that same hundred dollars of earnings. So it's, again, about 80% higher than it should be. So what should we do? Should we just do nothing and sit there and do nothing and just hope it keeps going up if we're already in it? And that's not a great strategy. What you should do now, in my view, and this is my opinion only, you guys, so don't just go out and start doing this kind of stuff, right? You need to get, if you're not sure, get advice of a really good financial advisor and hope you can find a really good one. Um, and then be prepared. I guess this is what I'm saying, is to be prepared now to invest later when the market goes down. That's what you should do now. Right now, you should prepare yourself to get rich by doing some work on understanding how to do this, how to figure out the best time to invest. So to know that, first thing we wanna cover is what a typical market cycle looks like, right? And we don't invest based on market cycles. I'm gonna promise you we don't. But I'm gonna talk about it today as if we do, all right? So you know the common expression, right? What goes up must come down, all that. So originally it referred to gravity. You throw a rock in the air, it's gonna come down to the ground. The, the same isn't true of the stock market. It, it, the stock market in the long run does go up, right? Because it's based on the, you know, the revenues of the entire country, which get bigger and bigger for, for America in any way, at least for the last you know, couple hundred years. So if you were to say, what's the cycle of the market and you looked back long enough at it, you'd see that that rock doesn't come down. But here's the catch. This incredible economist from back in the 30s, John Maynard Keyes said that, yeah, it's true the stock market always goes up in the long run, but then again, in the long run, we're all dead. And what he meant is there are cycles going on there. It'll go up and then it comes down. Then it goes up even more and then it comes down. And when it comes down, it might not come all the way back down, right? Maybe it just goes down 50%, but you can be sure that it's gonna come down. There's going to be a cycle. And we have been now in a bull market, meaning the market's just been going up overall, 
for the last 10 years. This is a really long time for the market to rise. It's more than twice as long as the average bull market has lasted in the past. It's three years longer than the average time between recessions. It's, you know, I think a year longer than we've ever had in history, or it's right there near that. So people who are new to investing may not be aware that we have these cycles. If you start investing in the last 10 years, you think it just goes up and makes a ton of money. And you just put your money in the market and an index and everything is great. But you're gonna find out it doesn't do that all the time. So if you've only been paying attention to the market just recently, you have never known anything other than a great market. It's not gonna keep going up forever. It's probably coming to the end of this incredible run, but we don't know. You know, 10 years ago, 2008, this market was going, I mean, gangbusters stock market in 2007, gangbusters. I went on CNBC and was talking to Maria Bartiromo about getting out of the market and they were looking at me like I'm crazy in 2007. The market's going to new records every day. Well, and then it plunged almost 50%. And I think that may be about to happen again. I don't have a crystal ball and I don't invest based on market cycles, okay? But when I can't find any good companies to buy into, and when there's nowhere else to put your money where you could make any money other than the stock market, I think there's a good case to be made that we're getting close to the end. We don't know exactly when this exceptionally long bull market will come to an end. We do know it will end sometime. And when it does, and when the overall market starts to drop, then prices of companies will fall along with that drop. And by the way, as it drops, fear will increase. And as fear increases, more companies go on sale. So effectively, I don't really follow a cycle, but I am waiting for this cycle to complete itself so that I can get back to buying great companies on sale. Just like Black Friday is a great time to get consumer goods on sale, when I get a cheap TV, okay? The stock market in a downturn or crash is the best time to get investment opportunities on sale. This is when the great companies go on sale. They just don't go on sale, right? They're great companies. Everybody knows they're great companies. But in a recession or in a bear market, they do go on sale and you can buy them at a great discount. And then when they go back up, you're on your way to a great retirement. So how do you prepare for the end of a bull market? How do you do that? Well, there's no point in going to a sale if you don't have any money because you can't buy anything. So why go, right? So that's why in order to get ready for the next market downturn, to get ready, you got to get to cash. Now being in cash, what that means is that you don't put all of your money into stocks or something illiquid like real estate. When the market's going super strong in both of those things, companies are overpriced, houses are overpriced, right? It doesn't mean stuffing bills under your mattress either. All it means is you're keeping your money where it's safe and liquid. That means where you can get to it quickly. Now a great place for that is a money market account that is investing in government bonds. That's gonna be very safe because the government's gonna pay its bills. And these money market accounts right now are paying one and a half to 2% per year, which isn't horrible, right? Or you can put your money in an insured bank account, but I prefer a money market account. You're gonna get a better rate of return. And that way, when the market goes down and companies go on sale, you're gonna be ready. You can get your hands on that cash in a day. You can transfer it from a money market account right over to your online brokerage that you're gonna to use to buy companies with. Then you swoop in and you buy these great companies at a discount. Awesome. Now remember, smart investing is all about long-term strategy. As an investor, your goal has got to be to buy a wonderful business and buy it when it's on sale and then hold it, hold it, hold it as the market rises. That's how you make a great rate of return. Remember, it's not gonna rise straight up. It's gonna go up and it's gonna come down, up, down. Those market prices are gonna fluctuate, but you just sit there and you wait. So now when the market is at a peak, the companies have gotten expensive, then you stop buying, right? You're not gonna buy. That's where I'm at right now. I'm not, I'm not buying much. You stop buying these companies, and then those that have gotten well above their real value, sell them at that point. Then you again wait in cash until the prices come down. This is Warren Buffett's strategy for the whole time he was investing as a young man in the 50s, the 60s, the 70s. This is your investing strategy and mine as well. Your long-term rate of return 
will be phenomenal if you do that, even including the time you're sitting in cash, even if the time you're sitting in cash is years, because your investments will do so well once you buy them on sale, it'll make up for all that lost time. After the market drops, then you just start all over again. It's pretty awesome. And by the way, what companies will you buy the second time around? When you go through the cycle the second time, you buy the same ones over again. I remember this one thing happened in 2008. Coca-Cola was going down like a brick and at Buffett's annual meeting, somebody asked him, you know, aren't you worried that the market's going down? And, and he said, I hope it goes down 50% more because I'll be able to buy all of these companies again at a super cheap price. It's amazing how few people, even when they own Buffett's investment portfolio via Berkshire Hathaway, don't understand how he invests. But you guys do, because we're teaching you. So do your research, find the best companies to buy, create a watch list, set the prices that you'll pay for them, and buy them when the price is right. So this is the truth. Just being patient really does pay off. Rule number one, investors understand the realities of the market. They know that it makes huge moves up and huge moves down, and they're prepared to take advantage of the market no matter what direction it's going. It just requires knowledge and patience to wait. You have to be able to wait patiently and hold on to companies when the time is right and wait in cash when the time is right. And while you're waiting, research your businesses, keep building that watch list of great companies that you're gonna to wanna to buy the next time their price is right. It's amazing, sometimes you don't have to wait long at all, sometimes you have to wait years. But it's just being patient and knowing what you wanna buy. You don't have to be in a you know stock market predictor, you don't have to be exactly accurate when the market's gonna reach the top or when it's gonna reach the bottom. You just have to keep an eye out for when the companies on your list are selling at that wonderful on sale price. And then you buy them. And you guys, all of this pays off in the end. First off, it's really fun to do. I think you're gonna get into it if you really like it. Start learning about these companies, but it all pays off over a long time that you're just gonna end up as a strategic rule one investor and you're gonna keep the big picture in mind and you're gonna be investing to build your wealth and to be able to do everything you wanna do even when you're working, even when you're retired, you're doing a life that you wanna live. And with that long-term perspective, you should know that a seesawing market is a fantastic opportunity in both directions, not a problem. Now, I'd love to hear from you guys. Do you have your watch list of companies prepared for an inevitable market decline? Leave a comment below with your answer. I'll be sure to follow up with you. And thanks for watching. Now go play. If you enjoyed this video and you feel it was valuable in teaching you more about how to invest when the market's high, hit the like button and please share this video with your friends. And if you want to more and if you want more investing content, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift. Thanks again for watching.